you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills, About That Business, the Christmas shopping season. <laughs> you know, I've worked in um you know, I've worked in sales, retail, all of that, right? And I'm gonna tell you what. It's over, y'all. <laughs> and it's it's an interesting dynamic because really any business that really wanna make money needs to sell during this period. In fact, uh, like the legendary Black Friday, they call it that because so many people would buy stuff on that day that people would actually get into the businesses would get into the black because so many people are buying stuff. And in fact, if you in business selling any type of product, the best time to start is in September, like after Labor Day, because really the Christmas season starts about then. Because as I said, I've worked retail and if you start noticing even in some malls, they started setting up the Christmas stuff like early, like the calendars. Oh, they start setting them up early and everything. And you're only going to see them like a few months out of the year. Like a lot of businesses are seasonal. Like you've got a lot of uh, kiosk and stuff. They only going to open up this time of year. Uh, a lot of people, extra people going to be in the mall. Um, you know, there's always a lot of jobs opening up. Like when you see like every November and December, they'll say, oh, they, we added this many jobs. They temporary jobs. Um, depending on the business, some of those people are let go before Christmas. Some might keep them around. Um, like a lot of big retail places, they might keep some people around maybe for inventory and stuff in January. But they're just, it, it's, it's crazy. And I'm going to tell you what, one and this might be something from a more deep thought channel. Um, I think people, I, you have some people who keep an idea about the reason for the season, be it uh, mainly Christians, but you have a lot of other uh, spiritual traditions that celebrate something around this time. But other than that, and other than those people, it's all about, it all is about that money and everything. And I'm uh, spending that money getting gifts of people you barely like. Because I'm recording this, even though it's coming out um, today, Thursday, I'm recording this on the day after Christmas. And <laughs> I would tell you what, the balls are going to be crowded because they, like I said, I've worked retail before. People bring back so much stuff, you know. And it's kind of funny. People so busy buying gifts and this and that for people and they either not buying the right size, which means how close can you be to that person if you don't really know their size, or they buying something that somebody don't like, so they got that gift receipt and they take it back, right? And it really is, it, it's really crazy to me, but it's, I don't know, it seems like it's anticlimactic from a sales point of view. Because everybody gets all happy and everything, and they get all this, you open the gifts, and then it's like, eh. I mean, it really is like, eh, like, what, um, you know, is this worth it? What's up with this, you know? <laughs> I mean, seriously, you sitting back thinking and stuff, and I'm like, wow. Now, I know one thing um, with my kids anyway, I didn't have to buy them that much stuff. Because they at the age, they very specific. They You get them, get them the main thing they ask for, maybe something extra. Even the extras are like, sometimes, you know, the grandparents going to get them something, right? But, you know, thankfully, they get to the age, they get one good gift, they good, right? And, in fact, as they get older, I might seriously consider, like, working at a soup kitchen, taking them to a soup kitchen or something on Christmas Day. Seriously. <laughs> Because it's just crazy. And I know y'all. this must be some weird stuff to be talking about on a business channel. But, yeah, it's, you know, from a, just a pure business, business point of view, you make a lot of money. But it's so dependent on stuff that, um, you know, just the holiday season and stuff. It's like, eh. 
like this is what I would recommend for a lot of businesses. And I know I'm usually recommending most businesses, but I recommend always having stuff that sells well throughout the year. I recommend that. Because the one one issue with the Christmas shopping season, they got a lot of what uh, a retail manager used the term tchotchke gifts. Just just some bold to like to uh, give it away. In fact, there's some companies they just make some of those little novelty type of gifts and stuff strictly for the Christmas season. Strictly for the strictly as some gift stuff, and uh, you know I guess that's okay. But you know my my way of thinking is okay. I, I want to be consistent. I need something that's going to like roll with, work with me on a consistent basis, right? You know, something that's going to sell in January as much as it does in December, right? Now, at most, you might want something that sells in January, but a little bit more of in December, but still something consistent. Because honestly, that really is for a lot of retail, especially. A lot of retail. That's why this season is so important. A lot of times, they don't make a lot of money. They make just enough. Like the um, the expectations. I mean, they might get a little bit of a bump during, um, you know, after tax season, after everybody get their tax refunds, which I, I'm telling you, you heard it here. All those earned income credits, all those tax refunds, that's to get people still buying. Because otherwise, if people didn't have that money, some businesses really be in trouble. Yeah, all those car lots and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm gonna do a video on it. <laughs> all those, all those buy here, pay here car lots and stuff in uh, some of the hoods. Uh, they are gonna make out like a bandit. But that's another video. But yeah, the Christmas shopping season. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of glad it's over. <laughs> kind of glad it's over. It's crazy. I mean, I don't know. But anyway, right. That's all I got for today. For, like, the people doing it year-round, let's go make that money.